guys, welcome to a very special unboxing video. The reason I say that it's so special is because I got something off eBay and I know basically what what it is and where it's from. Let me just set this up for you. It's a big box. All right. Recently, some stuff from the late John Bushy came up for a bid uh, on eBay. And John was a really good friend of mine and he was a great friend to pretty much everybody that ever met him, especially those in the magic and handcuff collecting community. John was an escape artist, he was a scholar, he was a master locksmith. Most escape artists, myself included, have to learn how to become very mechanically inclined if you're not already. Uh, the reason is because we have to take apart and study the mechanisms and intricate locks and handcuffs and different devices so that we can figure out how to escape from them. And if you do illusions, like I do, you also have to learn how to repair things and, and build what you need to create what you want to create on stage. And John was great at that as well. I thought that I knew an awful lot about handcuffs and escape artists until I met John. I thought I knew a lot about how to work in the metal shop and build certain devices and do machinist work until I met John. I thought I was a great researcher until I met John. As most of you know, I have a huge collection of magic books, periodicals, posters, programs, anything and everything having to do with magic. I always prided myself on my dedication to research. For example, when I researched magicians who lived in the 17 and 1800s, I would I spent countless hours going through newspapers, basically from the 1680s all the way to like the 1930s, and I was, would spend so much time just going through page by page at these antique places. And you know, I know a lot of antique dealers that deal in old newspapers, and when I say old, I mean very old. You know, 1600s. Like I said, I spent more hours than I can count going through page by page, and every time I saw any mention of a magician or anything related to magic, that would go in the collection. Right now, my oldest newspaper article about a magician is actually the first time a magician ever appeared in a newspaper from 1712. So, you know, I always prided myself on my ability to do research and be very thorough until I met John, because John wrote several books on different handcuffs and, and different various subjects, and his research was just limitless in the energy and, and what he would do. For example, if John was researching a mechanic that built a handcuff in the 20s or whatever, he would find where the guy grew up, knock on all the doors in the neighborhood to see if there was any neighbors still alive that remembered the guy. And that's how thorough he was. So anyway, I feel real lucky to add whatever's in here to the collection because, you know, like I said, we were good friends and a lot of the best items that I have our thanks to John that he was kind enough to you know, sell me or trade or whatever. I actually have a padlock owned by Houdini that I got from John. It's the only lock that I have that we can actually trace it back to Houdini. Here we go. I'm going to check out what's in this here. Oh boy. Now I can't go through all of this. I probably won't go through all of this with you page by page because it's going to take days. Here's just one thing. All stuff about escape artists, magic, and stuff like that. Let's see. Ugh. Oh my god. And here, see, like a newspaper article. I don't know the date on this. Wait, here we go. 1979 article with magicians in it. You know, John will collect the same kind of stuff I did. Other escape artist stuff. And here's some books. This one's catalogs, Ma old magic catalogs. And as far as I know, and I'm, you know, I'm gonna contact the seller who I also am aware of. And just thank him. Here we go, puzzle parties from Gilbert Company from like 1920s. Here's a Tannins Magic Catalog. Tannins was a magic company in New York, still is. I used to go to that shop all the time and they would put a different magician on each year's catalog. And this one was Doug Henning. Max Holden, this is from about the 30s, I'd say. Catalog number 15 from Philadelphia, my hometown. 
the catalog. This is from, it's hard to date these things, but I'll look through them. I'm sure that they're from like the 20s. Uh, National Magic catalog. This. Oh, you have to covers off. Smithsonian Magazine. something that's going to make me sick, an article on a guy named Ken who has one of the greatest collections of magic stuff in the world, and he knew John too. Oh my god, from the Smithsonian. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, there's some of the Zudini stuff. Yeah. That's insane. I have no idea what I would do for an actual, authentic pair of Houdini's handcuffs. Mm. And... Yeah. Old skateboard is that article. So basically, like, and I'm gonna do another vlog on escapes, escape artists of the past, and that's kind of one of another reason I was lucky to get this stuff because it will help in my research. Holy crap! Ugh. Miller the Handcuff King. So this guy, this was right around like 1907. Mm. Wow. You know, see, Houdini wasn't the only one. Here's a guy named Miller who did bridge jumps and all kinds of stuff. 1907, same time period. Here we go. Well, this is a repro, but it's still freaking cool. Something with Hardine, which was Houdini's brother. So it's like a reproduction poster. And it'll still look good in the frame until I get the actual one. Oh my god, I just can't wait to get through all this stuff. Yeah. I'm hoping that there's something in John's in here, but I'm not. There was a bunch of different. No, it's not him. Yep. Oh. No, it's not him. Other, you know, skate artist guys. The older ones are the ones I really go for, obviously. at a lock museum letter photocopies of letters to Hardeen wow articles about manacles Hang on. these are photo I mean the originals are worth are you know worth a few hundred at least wow photocopy there's an article about manacles and it looks to me like he did he included the originals awesome the peace officer 1930. All right. Damn, I got my. There, there's, there's my weekend right there, going through all this stuff. This is freaking amazing. There's an awful lot of stuff. Uh, stuff about collecting locks. What else we got? There's some. Yeah, correspondence to John. Big thing about Earl Lockman, which I have a huge collection of Earl stuff. What I'm hanging on the wall right there. History of locks. What the hell is that? Uh, you know, he was from way out west. In the Midwest, you know, he, he lived in another state than I did, than I do. You know, I was really hoping to get some of this so I can include it with the other correspondence, you know, between John and myself over the years. And just, you know, wow. Yeah, Tony Curtis Houdini movie. I got Tony Curtis's autograph too. I want a picture of him with Houdini and Houdini stuff. Just a few more catalogs and things like that, and some secrets that I can't help, I can't share. Awesome, here we go, look. Newspaper article, antique lot, sorry. Antique locks, more antique locks. See, it's amazing, because going through this stuff, it's like, it's like I'm going through some of the stuff, you know, that I knew John had and whatnot, 
and it's like there's a lot of it I already have, but a lot. It's like looking at. It's hard to explain. It's kind of like I'm, I'm looking through my own stuff because this is exactly the kind of thing that I have in my collection. You know, maybe not these exact items, but a lot of it's similar. You know, like it's funny because John and me and uh, certain other people, if you go through their collections, it's like, wait a minute, didn't I see this at Ariox House? No, I saw it at John. You know what I mean? It's like. It's like we, you know, when you have the same interests, a lot of us have duplicate stuff. It's when we get this, the weird and rare stuff that everybody gets excited about. So anyway, where's that picture of John? Yeah, look at the handcuffs he's in. I'm saying it's like we, I have most of them in my collection. You know what I mean? So this is really cool. Uh, you can look John up on the internet too if you really want to read about it. one hell of an interesting guy. And I'm just really honored to, that I'm able to put some of this, you know, I'm the caretaker of it for now. And that's really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and don't worry, I got tons more videos coming up soon.